we're going to go through the Thomas test stretch. Now this is mainly used to test whether your hip flexors are too short. Now when we're going to be doing this one, we're also going to be doing this one to show how you can actually lengthen your, your hip flexors by doing this. So what we're going to do is you're going to lay down either on a, a bench, box, or anything like that. Now you can see the lid is actually not on the edge. You want to make sure that you are on the edge of the box to start with. So bring yourself all the way down to the edge. And what you're going to do is just bring your knee up towards your chest. So you're going to bring either the left or right knee up towards the chest and hug it in. Now, as you can see that Liv doesn't have very good hip flexors. Her hip flexors are quite short. So you can see that by the fact that her leg is not relaxed and it's quite bouncy. Okay, so what you can do for this one is you can actually just rest in this stretching position and you'll find that your leg will start moving down by itself due to gravity or you can actually get a partner who can help you. They can apply a little bit of pressure and all you want to do is then try and push your knee up into their hand. Now if this applies any pain to your lower back, stop immediately. Okay, but make sure that if you are doing this, again working on your breathing, so breathing in and out, and then once you've held for about five seconds or so, you can relax and your partner can push your leg down a little bit more. Now if your quads are super tight, you'll find that this is going to start to happen. So you can see that her leg is not actually fully relaxed. Your leg wants to get into this position here. So whoever your partner is or whoever is working with you on this stretch, they can actually just angle your leg down like so, and then they can apply a little bit of pressure. Now again, you must communicate with your partner if they are doing this with you or not. Um, you have to make sure that they are make, not applying too much pressure, otherwise you can hurt yourself. So you don't want to be overstretching. So from here, slowly come up, and that is the Thomas Test Stretch, working on stretching the hip flexors and the quads. Thanks guys.